I'm going to do what you tell me to do. And if you tell me to run walk, I'll run walk. If you tell me not to run for another week, I won't run. You tell me what I need to do to get better. Could be larger than life, bigger than the world, living out the hopes and dreams of every boy and every girl that you can find. Going to physiotherapy is always an important thing to do. And apparently I'm doing that on Mondays. I don't know, it seems like that's just what happened. Anyways, I'm excited about today. I'm feeling better. I was foam rolling this morning and man, like it doesn't hurt anymore. So, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how that uh, translates into uh, flexibility that, uh, and mobility that uh, we've been working on my physiotherapist and I. So. Turn right, then turn left. When was the last time you ever went into a British store and just bought, like, healthy food? I mean, you got all the crisps and you got all the chocolate. Let's go in. This one. This? I'm in my favorite store, guys. Oh my gosh, they have like all the things that I wanted. It's awesome. So anyways, uh, I got all the corn products that I, I want. Um, anyways, got a few other items I got to pick up here and uh, Seriously, you guys gotta check this place out. It is flipping awesome. So if you live in Ontario, you guys gotta come to Whippy. You gotta come to Simply British. These guys are amazing. Hey man. That's great, thank you. <laughs> awesome, hey, I just wanna say thanks so much for bringing in the corn product. Really appreciate it. No problem. You uh, you seriously run a great, great store thank, here. Thank you, we're on. The, you know, we're always on the look uh, for the next greatest thing and corn and, and Linda McCartney for, for the meatless people. Um, worked out great. We are continue to expand the range. Uh, for, for people like yourself, Dave. So, uh, yeah, never know. Could be meat, could be corn roast coming in next. Okay, thumbs up on that one. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. Appreciate take it. Eh? Yeah, take care. Yeah. struggles when it comes to running and we all have the obstacles and challenges that we face in our lives and sometimes you just have to find a glimmer of hope a glimmer of something like latching on to something that can bring you some joy it's, it's, it's better it's not as tight right yeah like wow what a difference like that doesn't even like that's not even Power. that's not even registering in terms of any pain. <laughs> like good. If you do the exercises, you don't have to come see me very often. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a list of all the things that you need to do yeah. and just do it. And when something starts to tweak, yeah. you need to come in and see me. Exactly. And then you got the maintenance. See? Yeah, it's getting there. Better than when I first came in? Yep. Totally. <laughs> Well, the funny part is you didn't, you didn't even know. I was like, oh, yeah, no, this is so tight. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that's the thing, right? Because I've been tight for so long. Like, God, I remember when you did this the first time, and I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. No, it's just when I drive. That's the only thing. But then again, like, see, I feel that. I that's, feel that right where your thumb is. I feel that right there where your thumb is. Quad attachment, like, there's, here's your patella. Yeah. This is the very low part of your medial... Uh fastest okay so fastest. now what causes that yeah like i yeah like i felt that right like, there good job and that's just to get with tight quads yep. tight, yeah okay yeah. this is better yeah okay remember when i first did this oh my god yeah you couldn't really i couldn't even move it i couldn't even go yeah 
Like you went to like here. <laughs> yeah, I did I go. Like, I did only go to there. I was like, you know, that's not good, right? <laughs> yeah, like this, what a oh my god, what a difference! How far back that can get. Wow! Oh my gosh! Like you still wobble a little bit. Like I feel much better doing this, this, this the squats. Yeah. Like really feel good. Yeah. You still, like, you still shift a little bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, we'll, uh... That's, is that a strength thing? Partly a strength thing. Good. This is... See that guy right there? I want that guy. Good. Is the buggy at all, or you're good? I'm good. Gonna do all around the quad here. Good. So that function, what... What does it, what does it do? Brings blood flow. That's one of the biggest things it does, right? So you get a tight muscle. Yeah. It's like when it's hypertonic, you yeah. don't have as much blood flow. So one of the biggest things that it does, and then it brings the oxygen and some of the healing. It's like a little micro trauma. Yeah. And then it helps induce healing. It helps, it helps the muscle like feel better. Like it decreases tension in the muscle. It's really oh, okay. amazing for that kind of stuff. Go right on the cap here. Nice job. That was specifically in the quad part, right there. You have that tightness there. Yeah. This is the eye of the knee. So that guy, well done. Do okay? Yeah, perfectly fine. Yeah, you're doing awesome. You know me, I'm pretty easy going. You don't even flinch when we do the, uh, what, that quad right there. We'll do one more quad guy right here. You have, you have the tightness here. Yeah, you can feel it, hey, like you <laughs> <laughs> So when you take them out, you'll feel like it should feel a little bit looser. Let's do one more week of walk, and then next week we're gonna start walk run. Okay. Deal? That's a deal. Right. But so what do you feel? Like you feel like I'm improving? Like oh, yeah, it's, it's way better. Like, I can't get over the left side of your low back and glute. Much improved. Yeah, way better. Quads are better. Like it's definitely coming. So your IT band issue should be much improved. Now this joint line issue is your other is is the only other thing we have to be more concerned about but it also is improving. Like the less intense pain is, is a very, is an improvement, right? I press that, that you're like an ultra, run, ultra runner without any treatment ever, really. Yeah, I guess. I haven't really sought much, you know, help when it comes to that. So going to the physiotherapist, uh, having acupuncture done on my knee, was awesome my range of movement has increased dramatically she says that i'm improving and i'm so super grateful for that now i'm hanging out down here on lake ontario in uh, whitby i'm about two hours away from home just going for a walk uh anyways a snowstorm started to, to blow through like the streamers and uh, so I'm actually bunkered down um, off the off the kind of off the cliffs over here. It's crazy windy up there. Hold on, I'll show you. Oh my gosh! So I can't go home because they shut down all the roads where I live because a snowstorm blew in after I left town. And they closed all the roads down because it was unsafe for the snow plows and things to be on the roads. They can't see anything. So I'm hanging out down here for a while. <laughs> When I was fat, when I was sick, when I was unhealthy, you know, I always looked at people who ran marathons and did all these sports, and I was like, why not me? You know, like, and as time went by, and as time went by, I thought, 
you know, things do have to change, right? Because I gained a lot of weight. You know, and you go to up to 266 pounds and your joints hurt, your whole body hurts, your blood pressure is 180 over 110. You know, you're, not, you're, you're a risk, you're high risk for, for a heart attack, right? For stroke. And you kind of have a wake up call, right? And so for me, I knew I needed to change. I just didn't know how. In time, you know, the signs were provided to me, right? The universe works in magical ways or God works in magical ways or whatever you believe puts things in your path that you have to encounter, that you have to endure, right? right? And for me, I look back on it now and I go, yeah, I was a fat guy, right? I was unhealthy, eating all the wrong foods and it put me on this path. And it put me on this path to, to becoming a YouTuber, right? It put me on a path to help other people, right? And so, you know, do I regret being a fat, sick guy? No, I don't. I look back at it and that was just a chapter in my life. It was a moment in time. And the past is the past, his memories are there. But it made me a stronger person when I come out of it on the other end, right? And so if you are, if you are fat, if you are sick, if you are not doing well, just know that you're there right now, but that's not gonna be the end result. It's not like you're staying there, right? Unless, unless you allow life to hit harder than you can stand up, right? Like, you know, in the Rocky movies, I love Rocky. He's, he's like one of my favorite actors, Sylvester Stallone. He's a very talented individual, very smart individual. And in his movie, you know, Rocky is talking to his son about, you know, life's not all sunshine and rainbows, right? Life is mean and it can knock you down, right? But it's not about how hard you get knocked down, it's about how many times you stand up. Right, you get knocked down seven times and you stand up, right? And it's about how, how hard you hit back. It's about what are you gonna do in your life to overcome these challenges, right? That's what it's about, right? It's, that ch it's a chapter, it's a moment in your life, right? And if you can will it into existence, Right? You can make the changes necessary to moving forward, to see the results through, to make your goals happen, right? The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is going to hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. You focus on what you want and you go out and you go get it. You take massive action, right? I'm healing my damn knee. I'm making it, I'm, I'm doing everything I can to make it better so I can run again, right? I didn't run through it, I didn't run and I didn't keep running when it hurt. I stopped, I listened to my body. I'm doing the recovery, right? I'm doing the things that I have to do. You can do it too. All of you guys can do it. Every last one of you. If you want it bad enough. So what are you gonna do? If nothing changes in five years from now, can you look back and say, I'm happy with where I am? Answer it honestly. Think about it. Now get out and run. No two days are the same. If you don't like the weather, just wait a couple minutes. Really Lots of roads are closed. Right.
still. Trying to find some balance in my life. This is just but I never one really of the way that Newmarket 